Welcome to RCR New Zealand. We are hosted by Camshaft Software, makers of automation, a video game for every gearhead who said, I could make a better car company. Well, this is your chance to put up or shut up. From cam profiles to fleet marketing, you do it all. And thanks to them, regular car reviews made it to New Zealand, the planet's bonus track. Sweet as. Roses are red, violets are blue, this VP Commodore can't go so to 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 We cross the world from home to New Zealand We're holding Commodores The other cars we're not talking about yet, baby 1993 VP Holden Commodore Executive and louvers you are dead serious aren't you the commodore vp has been the most american car we've driven in new zealand it's a tarmac boat that convinced two nations it was a sports car so three people drive 90s commodores number one boomers who play facebook videos for each other at full volume in breakfast cafes number two the grandkids of said boomers who need something that can tow, like Matt. And number three... I work at Countdown and I want to go fast! This isn't a turbo Commodore, but like Skylines, not all models are performance cars. Come to the Warapapa and listen to me mispronounce the names of your regions. And here in the Warapapa, this is what a Commodore looks like. My dick is goblin-like and I will never be a Tumblr fuckboy. Ooh. This stitching is like the museum scene in Ferris Bueller. Ever see side vents that have upper and lower vents? Neither did I. Blow drying my hair. Ah, oh, look at those shoes. Even the man driving the car in the owner's manual has a Monday morning face and a weak chin. The Holden Commodore is the kind of car that gets driven by that one neighbor you have that's selectively religious about everything they believe. You know, that kind of neighbor who is religious about things until those things affect them? Because adultery is sin, right? But really, it's not like I'm gonna leave my wife for the fleet dispatcher. And yeah, abortions are a no-no, but now citizen ban Cindy is up the duff. And we're gonna have to do something about it, right? And the gays are going to hell, but boy howdy, did you see that Jaden guy on the New Zealand flight safety video? That is a handsome man. This Commodore runs on the Buick 3.8 liter V6, which is a naturally aspirated descendant of the Grand National engine. The car makes about 180 to 190 horsepower and has over 194 kilometers indicated. Matt isn't sure precisely how many kilometers this car has run since the odometer stopped working a long time ago, but the number is likely closer to 210,000 kilometers, which means means this has likely cost a fortune in fuel over the course of its lifetime, considering this generally doesn't get very good gas mileage, and it costs around 120 NZ to fill the 70 liter tank. Although if you drive it right, you could get between 500 and 600 kilometers on that tank. But driving styles are going to vary for something like this. Some are going to want to treat this like a beater, considering it's rear wheel drive with an automatic transmission, neutral drops, and factoring in that the Commodore has a history with Australian touring car events. But on the other other end of the spectrum, maybe you should be gentle to a car that's been on the road for 25 years. Still, it runs well despite its age and overall time on the road as a daily, but even with its reputation and louvers, it's not a sporty car. A Commodore is a boring daily that simply does what it's meant to do in a workmanlike way. Sort of like a journeyman porn star brought in to deliver a competent banging with his hands on his hips and one leg craned over an ottoman which the director bought from Big Lots with his own money so the cameraman can really get in there for that in-out shot. Of course, Matt's Commodore isn't worry-free. Currently, the gearbox cooler isn't working, so on long trips, heat just pours out of the transmission tunnel, and the blower motor is broken. On the worker's side of the equation, Matt suspects that this particular model was part of a police fleet at some... No. Nah. I, I get this about once every three months. I have a car, I'm pretty sure it was a police car. This car used to be a cop car, or it was part of a police fleet, is the automotive equivalent of my dad works for the government and he can't tell you what he does. You know what your dad does? He works the x-ray scanner at the MEP Center in Mechanicsburg. Yeah, he wakes up at 5 in the morning. He wakes up just to scan backpacks of a bunch of 17 and 18-year-old bewildered teenagers. My car was a police car. 
Now the thinking came from that this Commodore has a limited slip differential and a SP2 suspension pack from an SS Commodore V8. So that's the thinking. On the subject of tuning, this car has a radial tune suspension. Younger guys may not remember this, and it's even really before my time. Radial tune suspension means this car has radial tires, and thus the dampening and suspension geometry needs to be different than the previous bias ply. All this is is marketing wank. You have to understand that bias ply tires flex in a degree that is considered unacceptable today. Radial tires are reinforced, bias plies are not. You see a bias ply tire on an old classic Winga Dinga car, watch, ask him to take a corner really fast and put a GoPro down there and watch that tire flex like it looks, it's gonna, like it's gonna pull away from the bead. So when finally everybody went to radial tires, there was an opportunity to just waggle your dicks around and create some new slogans, and Holden thought it was such a great slogan, let's put it on the inside of the car as well. But I suppose that words like these offered comfort and reassurance that was everything precisely... I can't do this. It's so silly. It's words for people who needed to know that their car was going to work in exactly the way they dreamed it would. Because for a lot of people, it's not enough to know you're a good person, you have to hear it from someone else. Yes, you're a good person. Your, your breath isn't that bad. It's not your fault the last relationship didn't work out, you were just in different places in your life. It's not your fault you love who you love or that your boss doesn't appreciate you. It's not your fault that, you know, conversations with you get awkward. It's not your fault you can only curl the bar. But the world is still your oyster, as long as you're willing to fight for it. You may not know where you're headed in life, but when you figure it out, your Holden will take you there. Because a Commodore is, or was, the comfort of knowing you no longer have to put stock in the options. And for a long time, you could close the door of this Commodore and think, well, people may let me down, but my Holden won't. Cause we just do too many Subarus Dealing with the third degree from news So here's a holding for you Holding for you So here's a holding for you Holding for you